Good morning, everyone. Hello. I wanted to come on here really fast. I am Trina. I am the owner of Life is Great Call Center slash Chin Consulting. I wanted to come on here really fast, but before I start, I want to let you know, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to our to our YouTube channel. So basically, I'm going to be talking about the background check with Arise. You may have some questions on how it works, but like with any job, you do have to do a background check. With Arise, um, the background check is $8.00. With my company, with um, Chin Consulting, I reimburse the $8 for the background check. Um, we normally, they do it through a third party, which is um, First Advantage. But once you submit your background check to First Advantage, or, uh, First Advantage forward it over to Arise, and that's how to determine um, your background check. Now, you don't have to have a squeaky clean background. You don't have to have a squeaky clean background. Um, you can have something on your background. I know this from experience from some of my customer service uh, call centers reps. They, some people do have things on their background, but the main thing that they're looking for, if you have something dealing with theft on your background, so if you have any theft, shoplifting, anything pertaining to that, they will not, allow your background check to go through so I just wanted to come on here really fast and talk about that um, you can have you don't have to have a squeaky clean background check in order to get higher or, or in order for your background check to go through you can have something on your background um, as long as it's not dealing with shoplifting as long as it's not dealing with theft because you'll be dealing with sensitive information when if you are higher you'll be dealing with sensitive information you may be dealing with credit cards um, maybe be dealing with social security numbers with TurboTax. Um, so they want to make sure your background has nothing to do with theft or shoplifting, anything with fraud. Um, but you can have, you can have something on your background, just not dealing with that. Um, yeah, so that's, I wanted to come on here and do a quick, quick video on that. Um, after your background check comes back. Um, you do, you do um, have to wait for your background check to come back before you go to the next step. Um, but the way you would check it is just to simply log on to the Arise portal. Um, once you log on to the Arise portal, the next step will open up for you. That's how you would know if your background check came back. Um, the headset that I'm wearing, I'm going to get into that really fast, but um, you can use this type of headset um, for your training. Um, you can also use um, just a regular headset like your cell phone headset or USB headset. A USB is just basically it's the size of the um, the the outlet. So this one right here, I can use this one. I just plug in one, and it'll still go to my actual headset. A USB headset is this right here, you all. This is how the USB looks. So it's different types of headsets that you can use for training. Um, you necessarily don't have to have a headset for training. Um, that's another thing. As long as you can hear through the speaker. Um, I know when I initially started with Arise, I didn't have a headset and I would still be able to train. But they just want to make sure that everything they're talking about is private. That's why you have to have a headset. But I'm not going to be on here too long. If you all have any questions, let me know. I'm going to be available today. Make sure you um, you can call our office or text us at 704-266-2255. Our IBO is 50205. If you all have any other questions, feel free to post on the chat or private message me. Thank you all for watching this video live. Have a great rest of your day.